This is an interesting painting because of the wall boarding. It is very weather beaten and the paint is beginning to peel all over. Add masking fluid in all the areas where the peeling has occurred. The masking fluid must be dry before continuing. Mix up a greenish blue and paint in all the wall area. And as we paint, we can see where all the masking fluid has been applied. As this is an old building, the wall will not have an even color, so darken up some areas to make it look old and dilapidated. And when you paint the dark blue for the window panes, just remember that it will normally dry lighter than it normally looks when wet. Burnt sienna with a touch of blue is used to give the wood that weathered look. Don't paint the frame all the same color. The darkest areas are where the most of the paint has disappeared and revealed the naked wood. For the very dark blue color, just make a mix that has less water and more pigment. And this is the strong shadow color. The sun is from the left, so the shadows on the window will indicate this. The window itself is also painted with the same color as the wall. Glass being reflective will also reflect anything that is close to it. With a small round brush and a tissue, begin to carefully lift out where the reflections occur. Darken up some areas to add to the effect. With the same dark shadow color, paint in all the details on the framework. These include smaller shadows, cracks, hinges, etc. Also add the natural wood markings around the window sill. All the joints of the boarding need to be indicated and do this with a small round brush. As you do this, don't make them all the same evenness and thickness. Make some lighter in places. Similarly, some of the joints will be more darker and wider at places caused by the weathering. Use a series of small strokes to add to the weathered effect. The easiest and cleanest way to remove masking fluid is to use a small piece of masking tape. Always pull the tape across the paper and resist the temptation to pull it upwards off the paper. It is very easy to tear the paper this way. Also make sure the paper is perfectly dry before removing the masking fluid. To find out if any masking fluid has been removed, just uh, lightly rub your finger across the paper and you will feel if any has been left behind. All the white areas except the dove can now be painted in with some light yellow ochre or burnt sienna. You can even stroke some here and there over the blue to indicate areas where the paint has not lifted off completely. Some places will also be a bit darker than others. Turn the paper around that is upside down and paint the roof shadow. It is much easier to paint that straight line this way. Paint it just dark enough to still be able to see the board joints underneath. With a sponge and loaded with some of the dark paint, very lightly dab over the whole wall. If the paint is too dark, it can be regulated with a tissue. We can now start painting the shadows where the peeling paint has lifted up. Don't do every patch. Darken the frame slightly to make it stand out in the painting. And another reason is to show the contrast between the wood and the lighter colored dove. With a light blue-gray, paint the shadow areas of the dove. And then add the dark sections. Again, regulate the tonal ranges with a tissue. Please like this video if you have enjoyed watching it and leave a comment below. Don't forget to subscribe so we can inform you when we bring out more new tutorials like this one. 
If you'd like to see the paint along version of this class, head over to our website onlineartlessons.com.